Right, let's get straight into installing Canopix TR drive. We're going to open the terminal, which is console on Canopix. And we're going to type in sudo, or sudo, s-u-d-o, space, Canopix, hyphen, installer. And you hit enter. Now I can see we've got an empty piece on the hard drive there, so we click OK. Obviously, if you're going to do it yourself, read what it says. It takes a little while. And here we go. You can read all that, but it become obvious to you, so I'll make it a bit bigger. Just telling you how much it wants in RAM, etc. We click OK. In order to partition the disk, click OK again. There's a little disky there, 6.5 gig. Click on Next. And I'm going to use the template here instead of using QParted, which is one gig for swap, remaining for your root. Click on OK again. Yes, we do. Of course we do. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Yes, yes, yes. And it should partition the disk. But it's going to ask you that same question again. And it's done this several times I've run this program. So just click OK and just redo it. Telling you the size of this, it's already actually made apparently. So we'll partition again. And I'll go straight to that one again. Next, we use a template again, as I explained earlier. Click OK. Yeah, yeah, gimme, gimme, gimme. Oh, it's indeedy. Yes. And in a sec, off we will go. We're going to start the installation, which is at number two. Highlight it, click OK. Now you've got a choice of Debian, beginner, or Canopix. I've gone for Canopix because basically Debian didn't really work for me. It wouldn't connect to my router. And I wasn't going to spend too much time doing it really. So it's going to install HDA2, which is the root. HDA1 is your swap. I want to install it. To the master boot record from the installer. So we click on next after we've highlighted that. And this is telling you everything that it's going to do. And if it blows up, it nothing to do with them, basically. So we click on next. And the installer will begin. Now what you'll notice it'll jump straight up to about 89% and stays there for ages and then goes down to 60 and then not keeps going, so nothing's gone wrong. It's just something in the GUI somewhere. And there we go. Almost there. We do come up with a, bit of a few errors on the back, but it doesn't seem to affect them. Well, we don't want to do a floppy installation disk for it, so we're going to click No. And there we go. It's installed. We're going to close that down. I'm going to reboot it, so the next screen you'll see will be the screen of the installed hard drive. Like that one there. There you go. Very clean and blue. I'm going to open up the hard drive. And while it's doing that, I'm going to go down to the console, or the K menu. And we're going to open up GIMP while we're there. So we're doing two things at once. Click on GIMP. There's a, the uh, window opened up earlier. We can close that down now. The old gimpy's bouncing around now. Like a little bouncing ball. And it's loading up for us nice and quick. It's from the hard drive. A lot quicker than from the uh, CD, as you'd expect. Almost there. And whoopie doo da dee. Gimpy arrives. So everything's there. It's gimp 2 as well. So it's got a few uh, modifications on it. We'll close them down. When I find my mouse properly. And then what I'm going to do next is go down and open the web browser, which is Ice Weasel here. And you click on the green worldly. Nice images, I think, don't you? Right, we're on the web. You've probably seen that one before, but we are connected. So I'm going to type in BBC into the uh, into the Google box, and I've got too many C's, and I've not had a beer yet, so we'll take two C's off, 
and it'll be BBC. There we go, that's better. Hold off that beer. Now I do apologise for the slow web loading, but it is my connection. It's been bad for quite a while now. So hurry up and fix it. You do need the flash player to be installed, but you know to do that. It's easy peasy. Apart from that, nice and bright, lovely jubbly. We'll close that down. Everything's there that's on the CD. It's not the DVD one. You've got all your office programs, subscribers, etc. But at the end of the day, install it, have a play, see what you think. Thank you for watching. Lovely jubbly.